Hi, this is Lisa Carney. I'm here for Creative Pro Week, and I'd like to show you a quick tip. I'm all about getting your job done as quickly and efficiently as possible. So let's say your client or boss comes to you and they say, great, I've got this shot of these people. We need to do this banner ad. We don't have much time. Go. I'm going to suggest you use the Sky Replace. However, there's a few tips you need to know to make it work. First of all, the Sky Replacement under the Edit menu is phenomenal and has gotten so great. And you can drop in a sky. Oh, uh-oh, it's only covering half the image. And that is because your image, your people image, is only covering half the image. So what you're going to want to do is make a quick background. So I'm going to add a, a blank layer. I'm going to use this only for a minute. I'm going to put it underneath the people. And I have my people in a layer set. I'm just going to Command J or Control J or drag it to copy it here to make a copy. I'm going to very quickly merge that, Command E on a Mac. And now I'm going to go to Sky Replace under the Edit menu. And what you'll see is now Sky Replace goes, OK, ah, the whole piece. Look how phenomenal that is. It's easy. It's quick. You can fade the edge so it does more or less of your people, and I'm going to show you a trick about that in just a second. And you can shift the edge if you need to, which will do it even tighter. It's so great. And what it's trying to do is it's trying to adjust the sky. These are sky adjustments, but also the people, which is really great. So you can change your brightness of your sky or darken your sky. Note that we have some white types, so we're going to probably want this dark. You can also flip your sky if you need to. And, I, and you can output to duplicate or new layers. I'm going to go ahead and output this for just a second. And I'm going to hit OK. And then what I would suggest you do, if you like this, is then you just throw the people away, put your original people back on, and you're good to go. But I do want to stress something. That mask is not perfect. They're trying. They're trying to give you some um, rim light on it, which is great, but I think there's a little too much going into her. So I'm going to take the paintbrush and I'm going to paint with the color white. And I'm going to make that paintbrush not 13,000, but <laughs> perhaps a little smaller. And I can paint with black, pardon me, because I want to hide. Black hides, white reveals. And then I can paint her in a little more if that's what I need to do. Well, that took about two seconds. Well, thank you for joining me for this quick tip and please join me at Creative Pro. The information on the event is listed below in the description. Thank you very much.